So this right here is the sign of an absolute crazy person. This is every film that I bought on Blu-ray during the month of August 2018. I think I counted 84 films, that's just mad. To be honest, a lot of these I've still not got around to, so let's just get straight into this mess. First of all, I have seven Criterions, and these are ones that I'd ordered during the Barnes & Noble sale. We got Woman in the Dunes, this is um, Teshi Gahara, Jean Dielman. Now this one, A Matter of Life and Death, this film is incredible. I mean, Paul and Pressburger, they've made some of my favourite films of all time, and I absolutely love this film. So happy to have it on Blu-ray. To Be or Not To Be, Vince Lubitsch, this film is such a great example of, you know, Lubitsch's style, the Lubitsch touch. I got three films by Brayson, El Hazar, Balthazar, and I got Pickpocket, and L'Argent. Here I've got two Masters of Cinema releases from Eureka. I got King of Hearts, the uh, Philippe de Broca film. And then I got No Way Out, the Mankovic film. Which, yeah, this is... It, it's an interesting film, not one that I'm probably going to revisit a lot. It's one of those films that came out and it was a bit of an, an issue picture. You know, it deals with racism, but aside from the message, I'm not sure there's much... Uh, brilliance in this film. Okay, so mixing it up a bit after those Masters of Cinema ones, I have some Poundland titles. This one's a good one. Hot Fuzz, Edgar Wright, brilliant film. Uh, this one, no idea about it, Mirror Mirror. Snoopy and the Charlie Brown movie, apparently this is not that bad. So for a pound I thought, why the hell not? Second Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. I saw the first one, it was alright. Not sure when I'm gonna watch this to be honest. The Take with Idris Elba. The Expendables, what a ridiculous film. Get Hard, doesn't look great. Into the Woods for a Disney film for a pound. Let's stick it on the pile. Here I've got the Deer Hunter 4K box set, which I've done a review and unboxing on my channel, so do check out that video if you're interested. I got the Changeling limited edition from Second Sight. This is a great film and uh, Peter Medak directing it, George C. Scott who's just always amazing. Uh, great edition as well, it's got a booklet and it's got uh, the soundtrack, some special features. Definitely well worth the price because this wasn't, wasn't expensive. Next up I picked the Agnes Varda collection on Blu-ray put out by Artificial Eye. It's got eight films on here. I don't know if you can make them out. To be honest, I've not seen any of her films. It's a real blind spot in my uh, French cinema knowledge. But looking forward to getting through this. It's a beautiful box set as well. Um, very similar to the Charlie Chaplin set that Artificial Eye put out. Definitely one that I've wanted for a while. Now up next, I've got a ton of Arrow Academy Blu-rays because the shop where I work, these were all down to £6 each, and then obviously I get a bit of discount off that as well. And since I love collecting the Arrow Academy Blu-rays, I decided to get pretty much every one of them that was in the sale. Starting off, I've got Voices in the Moon, this is Fellini, uh, Roberto Benigni, The Love of a Woman, The Sorrow and the Pity, the documentary by uh, Marcelo Fool, The Witches, Magnificent Doll, Frank Passage, Tu va bien. Jean-Luc Godard, The Big Knife, The Tree of Wooden Clogs, this um, this came out on Criterion as well, and I think I think it won the Palm Door when it came out. Too Late for Fears, Noir Film, Woman on the Run, Viva L'Italia, Amour Fou, Legend of the Holy Drinker, another Olmi film uh, with Rutger Hauer, Clash, Aquarius, this is meant to be a great film, A Woman's Life, The Untamed, Ah, Inferno, Henri-Georges Clouseau's um, film that never never got finished. This is the documentary about the making of it, and I'm very, very intrigued by this one. Lost in Paris, The Glass Key, and Blue Dahlia. Zoology, Montparnasse 19, More Clouseau, Mystery of Picasso, Ramrod, Andre de Toth, Spotlight of a Murderer, Terror in a Texas Town, Orchestra Rehearsal, this is another Fellini film, and finally Le Plaisir, Maxo Fools, which I've wanted to see this for ages, so very happy to have this one. Next up I've got some Indicator titles, I love, love, love Indicator. Got The Deadly Affair, which is Sidley Lumet, 
Uh, the Front with Woody Allen. The National Health. Footsteps in the Fog, which is a great gothic romance film. Missing, again, brilliant film, Costa Gavras. Palm Door we know as well. And then lastly, you've got Ministry of Fear, Fritz Lang. This is one of his early Hollywood films, and this is in the Criterion Collection as well, but this is the better package, in my opinion. Next, I've got three Curzon Artificial Eye titles. I've got The Square, which won the Palm Door in 2017. Jodorowsky's Endless Poetry. Haneke's Happy End. Not seen any of these titles, but I love the works by the directors, so looking forward to watching these. Also recently at the store that I work at there was a sale on Third Window titles and Third Window do a lot of um, Asian cinema, so Korean, Japanese, um, stuff like that. So I picked up Cold Fish, this is a Sono film, love Sono and his style. I got another Sono film as well, Himizu, looking forward to watching this because I've heard a lot about this one. And then I also picked up the Toshiaki Toyeda uh, three early films set, which is a limited edition, and I'm surprised this came in, especially at £15, so looking forward to checking out these. These next two, I noticed these on Amazon, because there was a, a network sale, so I got Victim, the Basil Dearden film with Dirk Bogard, looking forward to watching this, and I got The Red Balloon and White Mane, uh, brilliant short films. Okay, I'm down to the last stack of these now. These are all just like random uh, random titles I've picked up. So I got Electric Dreams, got Once Were Warriors as well, that was in the Second Sight sale. I uh, got the Vin Vendors film, Gawley's Anxiety, The Penalty Kick. I picked up Mamma Mia! The Movie. This was in anticipation of the second one. I bought this, watched it, and then I didn't even go and see the second one. So yeah, I got The Mercenary. Franco Nero, Sergio Corbucci, 88 Films Italian Collection, brilliant. Inside Out, Pixar film, this is one of my favourite Pixar films as well. Got the Lee Chang Dong film Poetry, I got this in the Arrow uh, website sale for quite cheap, wanted this for ages. I was lucky enough to see uh, Lee Chang Dong's latest film Burning at Cannes Film Festival. Um, brilliant film, just brilliant filmmaker. Moulin Rouge. I got the 88 Films One-Armed Swordsman with a nice slip cover as well. Uh, these are brilliant additions. And then lastly, the last film of this entire haul is Salo. What a film to end up. I've only seen this in bits, not seen the whole film. So yeah, what a cheery note to end it on. Okay, so that's every film that I bought during the month of August. Yep, it's ridiculous. I don't, know, I don't know when I'm going to get through all of these. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed spending this with me on my bed, you know, where the magic happens. And what I mean by that is this is where I watch the films, nothing else. Keep locked on the channel and I'll be back with more Blu-ray videos very soon.